Uh, I started my career out as a, a uh, development geologist, and uh, that means that I worked on developmental wells and I uh, had to deal with actually early in my career I had to deal with a blowout well and we had to drill uh, two kill wells. So I'm very familiar with the, uh, the difficulty of kill wells. Okay, to a layman, uh, what, they're, what they're trying to do is the oil is buoyant and so it's naturally going to try to rise as it's doing right now. So once it comes out of the well bore, it's going to try to rise to the surface. And what they're trying to do is to place, it's, uh, it's almost like a funnel but an upside down funnel. And uh, you know, you turn it upside down like this, the oil is trying to fill that cup up. It's going to rise through the water column and try to fill that up. Now the, the biggest challenge is going to be to hold it steady. And I don't know uh, what types of mechanisms they'll use to do that, but hold it steady over the well bore and capture the oil. Then they also will have a tube that comes out of it. Uh, and I don't know if this is a good prop to use, but uh, you have a tube or a pipe coming out of it. And uh, it's like a funnel, you know, it's upside down because the oil is buoyant. And uh, they'll try to suck or uh, pump the oil up through this pipe that uh, is at the top of it. And then uh, collect it and scour, you know, uh, clean the water out of it. And they can actually uh, use the oil and everything and, and keep it out of the, out of the ocean. Th this is just, it would be a stopgap thing because of course uh, it takes uh, support vessels to maintain these things on position. And uh, the minute a hurricane or something or even a bad storm comes, they may have to shut in operations. And again, it'll start leaking. You know, once they stop pumping through the pipe, the cup will fill over and the oil will come out of the edges. Now, what they really don't know is at that depth, if they have to worry about currents or anything to stabilize it over the well, if, uh, you know, the uh, blowout preventer's there, you know, can they keep it stable? If you're doing this in 60 feet of water, it probably wouldn't be that hard to do. If you were doing it in, um, you know, 5,000 feet of water, it's a, it's a whole different uh, type of problem because because of the distance involved between the support vessel and where you actually have it. Uh, the best case scenario would be if they could uh, actually capture, you know, somewhere between 80 to 95 percent of the oil by by using this dome type structure while it's leaking and and, uh, and drill a kill well, you know, in three months or less.